So we want to create mustard, but today we're creating ketchup. Hey guys, I'm Tuts, welcome back to Tuts by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we're back once again taking a look at how to um, fix your UV editing pieces sticking together. So what I mean by that is I'll show you. So this is actually super, super useful because it's um, very annoying and it's very hard to fix. Not hard to fix, but it's very hard to fix if you don't know how to fix it. So let's go ahead and hit tab. Let's go in edit mode here. You can see we have all the different faces and all this different whatever, whatnot, what have you. Um, let's go ahead and hit U to a smart UV project this cube. Now what we do is to do this to add texture or something is to hit this little unwrap button and then we can add a texture to each of the faces. Now what we do this is going ahead and put our putting our cursor up in the top left until it turns to a plus, clicking and dragging over to the left, and then hitting this little button up here to change this to the UV editor. There we go. Nice. Once that's done, you can see we have all these little pieces here, which are all the pieces of our cube. So these are all different sides and faces and everything and whatnot of our cube. Now if we hit A to select everything, you can see we have all of them selected now. If we go ahead and go to face select mode or island select mode uh, over here in the, in the UV editor, and click on one of them and hit G to move them. You can see some of them work really properly. They work fine. They work great. But then some of them work like this. So you can see those that this little piece here is connected. These vertices are connected. And it makes it so that it stretches along with it. Now, how do we fix this? Because this is very annoying. And we need to be able to move things properly instead of stretching them like that. So it's a super easy fix. The way you fix this is go up to the top of the screen up here on the UV editor. And this little button that says sticky selection mode shared location. You can change this to disabled, and then as soon as you do that, you can see that we can now move all of these individually, and now they all work the way they should. Ladies and gentlemen, that is how you fix that. Sticky location, sticky selection, all that stuff up, up here. It, you can also put it on shared vertex, but you know you don't want that. I don't know why you would want that. Just put it on disabled, and you are good to go. Ladies and gentlemen, that is it for today's tutorial. Super, super useful one, but um, also super short. Very, very useful, but very, very tiny. Hope you guys, ladies and gentlemen, enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.